Hey guys, it's Jake here from Canadian Cutting Edge, and today we're taking a look at a pair of knives from Sanren Mew. Actually, multifunction knives. We've got the 7106, and we have the 7116. Very much the same. Both come in these pouch sheath things. Both have an extra set of tools. And, whoa, don't want to drop those. Both come in green or black. I just happen to have them both in green. They're not identical. There are differences, definite differences, although they're very similar in a lot of ways. And that's why I'm going to show them to you together. They're really for right-handed, so it's a little tricky with my left hand there. So as you can see right here, they are very similar indeed. And uh, if you're interested, at all in multi-tool folders that have a screwdriver attachment, a rather ingenious one at that, and all kinds of extra tools back here still. Three of them actually. There we go. Glass breaker, all kinds of stuff. Why don't you just stick around for the full review and you'll get to see all this stuff and more. Uh, the first thing I'll show you is the pouch. So the pouch is this uh, Cordura style fabric. Uh, Sandrin Muse logo on there. You've got a snap back here. And that becomes your belt loop. And uh, I like having snaps instead of uh, Velcro, although you do have Velcro in the front here. Uh, and your belt goes through there and holds on. You've got plenty of room in the pouch here to uh, put your knife and, uh, you know, Velcro it closed and it's going to stay in there. What you also have back here is a little bit of elastic and inside that elastic, I can push in from the bottom to get, get this pulled out. You've got this. So this is a set of tools that comes with the system and you get uh, a, a dry, uh, an extender, a socket driver and you get two uh, Torx uh, T6 and a T8. You get a small standard driver, three millimeters, and you get a, uh, I think this is a PH1 Phillips driver. So a small, a small Phillips. And that comes with the system. And let me show you how it works. So you can pull these pieces out. And both of these have got the same ratchets, or not ratchet, the same driver system back here. Uh, it's not ratcheting. You take this tool and uh, you put the smaller end in. And then you take the larger one and it goes in only one way because it's actually goes in either way, I think, because it's the same size. Yeah, it's the same size either way, so you don't have to be super careful, do it the right way. You can put it in either way. And it's got magnet to help it stay in place. And then you put your driver in there and now you've got a screwdriver. And uh, you put it in your hand like this. And then when you turn it over, now you've got an awful lot of torque if you need to drive the screw somewhere. And uh, if you need to do a lot of small turning, you know, that's gonna take a little bit more, you know, kind of, hand over hand kind of action. It's not the most comfortable kind of driving system. I do wish it was ratcheting, uh, but it's not. Um, that would have required them to make it quite a bit larger in here. So when you're done using your tools, it comes apart like that and you put your uh, bit away and you put this away and then you gotta take this piece out and you put this away, oh, the other way around, small end in first and uh, close it up. Sometimes it can be a little tricky to get that last piece out of here. It, not always, but sometimes it can be a bit tricky. And then you just store this down in there for the next time that you need it. So let's take a look at how this looks on a uh, pair of pants with a belt. You know, it'll sit on the belt and it'll just hang there. And uh, so it hangs right at the height of your belt, plus a little bit lower. And uh, that works just fine. You can put it on uh, without taking your belt off and uh, it'll just snap together and hold on in place. 
but it doesn't hold on so tight that it doesn't move around. So it'll move between your two uh, belt loops on your pants. Uh, that being said, depending on which model you get, you have two different uh, belt clips here as well. This is the uh, uh, 7106, and this is the 7116. The 7106 is the knife that I bought at GearBest, and the 7116 I got at Amazon, and now Amazon also has the 7106. So you can get both of these at Amazon, and you can get the 7106 at GearBest. And GearBest has the better price, but unfortunately they only have this knife in green right now. The, they might get the black one back in stock. This is the 7106. And so you have the option with this belt clip to uh, just wear the uh, knife like this. No, not like that, silly Jake, <laughs> like this. I guess you could do it that way as well. And you know, just put it in your pocket and use the belt clip and uh, just carry this knife around uh, without the extra screwdrivers, of course. And then all you'll have is, you know, the extra tools back here and the knife itself and the saw blade. So it goes that way or in the pouch. So we've covered all of those basics. So we can put all that aside. And now we can concentrate on the knives themselves. Now, the knives themselves, let's start by opening them up. People are most interested in the blade uh, quite often. So we'll talk about the blade first. We've got what looks like a flipper tab on both of them, but it's not really a flipper tab. You can get it to move. I haven't oiled these at all yet. If I oiled them a little bit, they'd move a bit better. Uh, by the way, they've got uh, nylon washers. So I could get them to, there you go, with enough wrist action, you can make them flip open. But it's not really designed for a flipper. It's designed to be a finger protection when it's open because it's a slip joint. And uh, so that offers the protection of it to close. It'll hit your finger before it comes over and cuts your finger. We've got both of these knives have these harpoon points. Both of them have a swedge on top, but uh, this one's got more of a drop point, And this one's got a sort of a clip point kind of tip on it. If we can move that a little bit closer, you can have a better look. So there you can take a look at the difference of those two blades. Move them the opposite way. Sometimes you can see better when one's on above the other. Both are hollow ground. This one's more of a mirror style finish. And this one's got more of a satin finish where you can see the lines where they did the grinding. This is the 7116. Nice sharp tip on here. You've got a very shallow belly and then the flat area. And then the 7106 has got more of a gradual belly and then that flat area. So those are the main differences on the blade. There's differences on the handle as well, other than the pocket clip that you can clearly see right there. Um, let's, let's do it this way. Let's keep the 7106 above and 7116 below. So you got two different pocket clips, although they would be interchangeable. They fit in either one. Uh, this pocket clip is very common in San Ran Mew. Uh, they've got them on a lot of their smaller knives. And this one's a little less common. It's, you know, a little bit larger. I like this pocket clip better on the 7106. Uh, and which again is the one that's at gear best. We've also got a difference in, if you take a look at the handle, let's take a look at the back end here. You can see it most at the back there. See how deep the handle is here and how shallow it is with the G10 here. That's because this has got the metal coming out extra right there. You can see all that. And all three main uh, liner pieces come out like that. So this is just a decorative effect that... Uh, you know, it's a design choice. And the side just has got everything on the inside. We've got um, glass breaker at the back for both of these. Uh, tungsten tipped glass breaker. And it's interesting that, uh, again, we've got differences. One is quite a bit larger than the other one. And the larger one is the 7106 over the 7116. 
And uh, this is, uh, let's see, I have, have them both facing the other way. There you go. They're both in line with the blade because the spacer on the other side is uh, a uh, plastic kind of material. And then they have the same tools. Let's close the blade up on this one as well. You've got the same tools. The first tool is a flat driver with a bottle opener. So you can see that, that's clear. The second tool is uh, has a nail neck there and you've got a small standard driver. And uh, this is the 7116. You can see that blue whereas the uh, 7106 looks like that. And I was wondering, what is that? That's, a, but it's kind of smooth. And then I just realized it, that that's just the protective film that they left on it from the factory. <laughs> so really they are the same material back here. They're called, um, if I can get the angles just right. Uh, this one's been used a bit, so you can't see the little fine circles in there like you can over here it'll focus there you go when you focus it nicely you can see the shape and everything there it's called a nail file it certainly can file your nails it can really do that it's actually a, a very good file so we can close that up and then the very last thing is again the same on both of them you've got a cordage ripper and a you know, those flat style Phillips drivers. So let's put one one way and one the other way. So you can see that on uh, one orientation, it looks a lot like a Phillips. And on the other orientation, it doesn't, but it actually works in a lot of um, Phillips screws. So those are the three tools that you've got and the glass breaker. Tungsten tip on those glass breakers, by the way. So it's very, very hard, easily, easy to break glass with that. And, um, the only other changes, differences, I should say, are the G10 is the same texture, except for this one. The 7116 has got these two lines milled in it for decorative effect. And there you go. It's basically the same thing then. You've got thumb studs here. Uh, the 7106 gives you a little bit of access right there on the G10. Uh, the other one doesn't. Uh, 7106, you can get back here and open it up with your thumb. The 7116 doesn't have that back here. And you can see that the thumb stud is more shallow than the G10. So there's no way to get behind there. You have to use the flipper tab or finger guard to get started. You know, and then it works. Now, my hands are large, bordering on extra large. And it just fits in my hand barely, uh, either right or left, and I can use it. So I'm comfortable using this. So anybody with large hands and smaller will find this comfortable enough to use. Although people with medium and small hands are going to find this even more comfortable than I do. Uh, this one's got a nice cutout back here. It's not really a sharpener's twill, but has the same effect. So it's much easier to sharpen the knife right to the end. And uh, this one really has a standard sharpness twill on it. And, you know, it's done well. It's put in the right spot. What we see kind of unique here is the logo on this one says Sanren Mew Plus. This is the 7106. The 7116 only says, you know, got... It only has the Sanran Mew logo. There are some Sanran Mew Plus items that you can get. Um, I, I've got one of them recently. A 910 Plus exclusive. Uh, I think I made a video about it. So let us talk about the dimensions here. When I do give two dimensions for something, I will always give the 9106 first and then the 9116 second. Uh, we've got Sandvik steel, uh, 12C27, Rockwell hardness of about 28, uh, G10, harpoon point. Um, you do have a little bit of play side to side on this. If you tighten it up too much more, it's just going to be too much of a challenge to open up. Good detent on both of these. Uh, nice 
stop pins on both of these. I forgot to mention you got a little bit of jimping on the top right here just to give you a little bit of better grip when you're using it. And that's not on the uh, 7106, just on the 7116. And um, the sizes are very, very similar. The cutting edge is 6.3 centimeters, 2.5 inches, 6.6 6 centimeters, 2.6 inches. So they're both well underneath the three inch limit. Uh, the blade length, well, this one's longer because it, the other one's got the steel coming out extra far. <laughs> so this one's longer, 6.6 .6 centimeters, 2.6 inches, 6.5 centimeters, 2.56 inches. The blade thickness is the same on both, 2.4 millimeters, 0 0.095 inches. Uh, the blade depth right at the top of the harpoon point to the cutting edge, they're very close to the same, 2.2 centimeters, 0.866 inches. The thickness of the edge behind the grind, right at the very edge there, just after the sharp point when it gets to the thickness of the blade, 0.38 millimeters, that's 0 0.015 inches. Very nice and thin, that helps it to be very effective in cutting all kinds of things. And Sandvik 12C27 can handle that thinness without uh, chipping at the edge or breaking. Of course, it can chip, but it's just not very likely. Uh, the handle now. Handle length, and for the handle length, I'm measuring from um, this end of the handle to before the uh, glass breaker on both of these. So the handle length is 9.1 centimeters, 3.58 inches. 9.25 centimeters, 3.64 inches. Uh, the grip area is the same on both of these. And so that's after this uh, protective tab uh, to the end where the G10 is ending. 7.1 centimeters, 2.8 inches. And then the handle thickness, just the G10, not counting the pocket clip. Uh, 1.65 centimeters, that's 0.65 inches. So I thought it would be much thicker, but that's all that it is, 0.65. And then the handle depth, that's right here at the middle. Screw back here to the uh, end of the saw blade. I have to talk more about the saw blade in a minute. Is 2.36 centimeters. That's 0.93 inches, so just about an inch. And that's the same on both of these. And the total length of this knife, oh, I forgot to do the imperial. I'll give you the metric, and I'll put the inches on the screen. Uh, 16 centimeters and 16.2 centimeters. So this sort of clip point end is a little bit longer than the other one. Now, how much do they weigh? They're very similar. 99 grams, uh, that's three and a half ounces. And if you add in the sheath and the tools, you're talking 151 grams, 5.35 ounces. So before I talk about the price Let's go back and talk about the saw. The saw is locking. So you've got, you know, like a liner lock system right there. And it gets held in place and locks in very well. And uh, both of these are very similar. You've got a bit of a notch put out right there. That works very well for putting your thumb in to rest right there. And so then you can do your, your, your saw cutting. Or if you want to, you can put your index finger up there and hold it this way for, for cutting with a saw blade. The saw blade is done very well, nice and sharp. And it's thinner at the spine so that the uh, kerf that you get from the cutting edge stays, uh, keeps the blade free so you don't get any pinching. And that way you can saw much more efficiently. Okay, so you want a bit of a demonstration on that saw blade and a little bit of demonstration on the cutting edge? I'll give that to you right after the prices. So the prices here, if you go to Amazon, it's 25 US dollars for either one of these in green or black. Uh, 25 US dollars equals 32.26 Canadian or 20.29 20, euros or 1775 pounds. At gear best, uh, you don't have the option for the 7116. You basically have the option for this one. That's the one with the uh, sort of a little bit bigger of a belly, a little more drop point-ish kind of blade, and not the extra 
So it gives you the access to the thumb stud and it doesn't have the extra steel back here. This one is 1874 US, 2476 Canadian, 1538 euros, and 1375 British pounds. So basically it's four pounds uh, less than buying the same thing from Amazon. Uh, that is Amazon.com. And unfortunately, I didn't find this on Amazon UK. I didn't find this on Amazon Germany. And this is not on Amazon Canada. It's only on Amazon.com, unfortunately. So that's the limitation. Uh, they won't ship to Canada. I doubt they'll ship to any of the other countries. Basically, you need a friend in the United States if you want this shipped to you. You know, it goes to them first and then to you. So let's do a little bit of a cutting demonstration and I'll talk about a few more details and wrap this thing up. All right, I've got some fur handy. Uh, that's a wood. <laughs> and uh, let's just watch how this cuts. To get it started, you probably just want to do some really light strokes. <laughs> There you go you can see that once you're in a ways now the blade is what is narrower than the kerf and that's what stops it from pinching so is it a great choice for cutting wood no it's going to take a while to get through anything but you can certainly do it if you need to okay so now remember it locks so we've got to release the lock right there and the blade they're quite sharp indeed. Uh, the one has the factory edge still on it. The other one I've sharpened. So let's show you. Uh, this is a factory edge on here. And we've got some manila rope here. It went through there no problem at all. And uh, this is the edge that I sharpened myself. And again, no problem at all to go through that kind of rope. Uh, it'll also cut paper just fine. Uh, and this is an edge that I've used a fair bit. Uh, the factory edge, I have stropped it though. I have done a little bit of that. And of course, the edge that I sharpened also cuts quite well. The design here that they made is kind of ingenious. I'm going to show you something really neat. If we just use this piece, and uh, we've got the blade deployed, I can put this in here now. And now there's a little bit sticking out there, but now my blade is locked. You cannot close the blade because there's a hole in the steel of the blade. You can't quite see it. You can see it right there, how it comes back in quite deep right there. You can probably see it right there, how it gets in place. And now the blade is locked. So you can still use it comfortably. My hand is comfortable like this. That's not in the way. And now I've got a locking knife to use to do whatever whittling and stuff I want. And um, I doubt, unless the uh, UK officer has got the same kind of knife, I doubt he's going to notice that uh, you've got a locking knife in your possession. Or maybe there's a loophole saying that this is just fine. Or maybe this will get you into trouble. I don't know. <laughs> I am not a lawyer. I'm not giving you legal advice. I'm just saying this is pretty cool the way this works <laughs> to lock it into the open position on either one of these. So that's rather neat. Let's put that back. I don't think there's really anything else to talk about. It's a nice knife, whatever choice you want. If you're looking for a multi-tool and you need to get something that has a cutting edge that's under three inches um, and uh, you want the choice between carrying it either in your pants pocket or carrying it in a pouch. So if you've got any questions, comments, I've got links down below in the descriptions for you to get this either from Gearbest or from Amazon. I thank you very much for using my links. That really does help out. It makes a difference. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, subscribing. Uh, thank you very much to my Patreon supporters. You guys are the best. Remember, always cut towards your chum, not your thumb.